Yeah, hello again uh, to our next episode of uh, U204 Adventures in the North Atlantic. I have upgraded the Living Silent Hotham mod to its uh, newest version. It's uh, Living Silent Hunter 2022 now. You can see the office has a little bit changed. It's a little bit uh, more like, uh, to, sorry, the old black and white movies. And uh, yeah, we are back in port after our last patrol. And uh, yeah, you see here the the whole uh, the whole uh, uh, section has changed. It's completely remade. This is the the U-boat itself with uh, the available turrets. We already have upgraded to the to the uh, most recent turret. It's the so-called Turm Umbau 2. It's the uh, turret type 2. We have added another platform. We already had that in the last patrol. No changes at the deck guns. Uh, torpedoes so far are still the same, but... Uh, the whole picture has changed. It's way better readable now than the old uh, Silent Hunter 3 versions. You can see the different colors from the uh, torpedoes. We have uh, T3s here. Then we have wet heaters are silver. The electricals are golden. Yeah, I mean, uh, in real life, they had all the same the same color and uh, were not distinguishable. And uh, but uh, in game, it's a nice touch, so you can see on the first glance what torpedoes you have in your uh, tubes. We will do our standard U-boat outfit with four wet heaters in the bow tubes. Four electricers in the uh, torpedo room department above the deck plates directly behind the tubes to reload and two wet heaters stored under the deck plates then we have the uh, equipment we have some new equipment available we have the so called s -gerät. that's a um, addition to the hydrophone it's a sonar so you can get a range estimate when you have a hydrophone contact, I would not advise you to use that when escorts are in the vicinity because this thing is uh, a dead giveaway of your own position. But if you have a single merchant, uh, that's ideal to get the range. Then we have a radar warning device. The... Uh, so-called uh, Funkmessbeobachtungsgerät, that uh, FUMB1, that's a um, warning device against um, airborne radars. We'll take that, of course. And then we have the so-called Bolt 1, that's a noisemaker. Yeah, we have this thing, of course, too. I mean, that's uh, pretty uh, handy if necessary, I guess. Yeah, so far so good. We have no new radar set. We have still the old one mounted here in front of the turret. Uh, all the other stuff is the same like in the last patrols, the same machinery, the same batteries. There is no change in there. Let's see if these things, uh, uh, this radar warning device works. It's the so-called, the first version. You can see it here, the, the wooden cross. It's the so-called Biscaya Kreuz, the Biscay Cross. Yeah, now it's the 1st of September, 1942. Our crew has also changed a little bit. We have a... Uh, a few new guys here uh, from other U-boats. We have other guys transferred out. And uh, yeah, that's uh, so far so good. We have given away one of our officers. He went uh, to the Kommandantenlehrgang, to the commander's training. 
where we have the desk, we have uh, here the U-Boat Aces from September 1942, and we are 433,912 tons. That's uh, almost double as <laughs> much as scratch my head. But anyway, uh, yeah, then we have the telephone here, but I think you already know that. But the, the, the change here is, is really uh, visible. You can see the flotillas, the available flotillas, and you can see the uh, dates and the locations where they are available. You have the Erprobungsstelle, that's... Uh, now in uh, Danzig, this is the place where you have to go to get a new U-boat. You make one uh, patrol in the Baltic, get back, and then you transfer back to your flotilla. It gives the whole game a more realistic touch. Then we have the first flotilla right now in Brest. That's the flotilla which we are now based with. Then we have the second flotilla, and this one is in Lorient. We have the seventh, this now in Saint-Nazaire, later in Bergen, Norway, then we have the 11th in uh, Norway, right now it's in Trondheim. Then we have the 29th flotilla, this is uh, in the Mediterranean, right now in uh, 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 La Spezia. Yeah, that's uh, our little uh, medals case. We have everything available, the U-boat badge, the U-boat war badge, the German cross in gold, the U-boat front clasp, albeit this one here in the original was uh, awarded uh, beginning in April 1944. So we have it uh, about two years too early. That's a hard coded issue with the game. A mod cannot change. That's uh, that's a Ubisoft thing. But then we have the Iron Cross second and first class, and we have the Knights Cross with oak leaves, swords, and diamonds. Well, so far so good. And now we need to get and uh, see on our new patrol quadrant. I see you there in a minute. Yeah, guys, we have left uh, Brest. We are a little bit out of Brest now. And uh, there it is, the new Living Silent Hunter 2022 mod. <coughs> and, best of all, it comes with uh, a 1080p solution right out of the package. There is no need for any mods anymore. All the mods I use. Shut the fuck. Um, all all the mods I use are already part of the Living Silent Hunter 2022 download. So, yeah, I. We have now, as I said. A 1080p solution right out of the box. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't she beautiful, huh? Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Also, the whole interface here, you see it, it has changed. It's a little bit better readable than the old one. You have uh, uh, tips and advices on the right side, either in English or in German. I'm using a... Uh, uh, GUI mod, uh, which is also part of the Living Silent Hunter 2022 package, which has slide out instruments on the left. I like that. It makes the the whole thing not so cluttered up anymore. Then you have here a little button. If you push that, you have your torpedo settings popping out. We have the uh, attack periscope with the ROBF but we don't use that. That's a relic from the First World War. This wasn't used in any kind of way in the Kriegsmarine in World War II. Then we have the observation periscope, and as you can see, you put the button here again, and there you go. Yeah. The same goes for the attack periscope. Pull, 
push uh, the button here you have your settings for the torpedoes then you have a stopwatch you have the uroct chrono f5 is the map and you can see the the moon here it pops up and uh, disappears uh, in the night and disappears in the morning that's the indicator which date of time you have that's a nice idea i like it very much nice addition and look at the graphics here holy crap is that good looking yeah we have uh, had some uh, as i shown before in the office uh, uh, we have had some updates there we have the wooden cross with the radar warner the so-called biscaya cross we also have the, the pre-mountings for the later radar set. This is uh, a historically correct uh, uh, mid to late war Type 7 turret, the Turm Umbau 2. Later on there comes the Turm Umbau 3 and 4, but that's uh, another story for another day. We are not uh, that far in time at right now. We have uh, the correct turret for 1942. That's uh, a nice one here, a nice one. Absolutely. Uh, we have the, the uh, radio direction finder. Uh, two pepper guns there. There we have the Utsu. I mean, holy crap, they, they outdid themselves. That's uh, an absolute masterpiece as far as I'm concerned I really like it so let's got the plot we have to go to no 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 we don't go to e47 I am not traveling again the whole world for uh, uh, right down there to the Caribbean we have been there the last episode nah not again we go up here again I want to have some to to look up here in the AM26, yeah, we go there and have a look up there. Maybe we can find some nice juicy convoys. Yeah, there's the Rockhold Bank. Uh, tip for the modders, uh, here in the Rockhold Bank, there's a so-called Rockhold Islet. It's basically just a, 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 a huge uh, a mountaintop breaking through the water right about here. If somebody could model that with the mod into the game, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Hey. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, there's the ship. Yep, that's an artillery barge patrolling the harbor entrance of Brest. Nice. Yeah, the, let's go. Let's see what we have. There we have our uh, ammo information. Uh, we have uh, the torpedoes. Then we have here the the AA gun ammo and the uh, and the um, uh, deck gun ammo. We have uh, 40 rounds armor piercing. 150 rounds high explosive, 10 rounds uh, high expl 160 rounds high explosive, and 40 rounds uh, star shell, which makes absolutely no sense on a submarine, to be honest. Uh, because in that time frame, I would not be so suicidal to fire a star shell. Anyway, and now we are going up to. AM26 and uh, we hope uh, to find some convoy there uh, at least maybe some uh, nice merchants uh, it's now 28 September 1942 local time 19 hours 10 minutes so yeah let's go there yeah we have also here a new uh, uh, overlay as you can see if you Go with your mouse over the the the, the time you get. Uh, as you can see it coming down. Time and date. If you hover over the green uh, instruments here, you get your uh, instruments from left to right. Battery, air pressure, CO2 level, and uh, diesel. 
we have the slide out instruments i like that idea to be honest that's a very nice touch then we have here our maps it's the usual we have the atlantic map we have the indian ocean map then we have the black sea for the 30th flotilla operating out of constanza with type 2 boats we have the mine charts that's basically the same like in the in the in the other um, versions of the mod then we have the technical chart that's a new one we have the maximum secured dive depths of the types in our case uh, type 7c it's 250 meters that's uh, depth under keel uh, surfaced we have five meters depth under keel periscope depth is 12 meters depth under keel and uh, snorkel is 10 meters then we have the maximum ranges at the different uh, speed settings uh, both on diesels and battery that's a nice one then we have the uh, the conversion charts for uh, distance and uh, uh, speed well you have six knots in two hours six knots in four hours six knots in ten hours and so on and so forth and when you push f1 on your keyboard you have the information uh, then you have the same maps again the, but additionally you have the uh, we have the equipment chart that's all the same stuff like in the in the office then we have the flotilla chart the uh, available artillery chart the torpedo availability chart but the most important is the chart with the availability dates from the milk cows and the tenders you can see it starts uh, 15th September 1939 to 30th September 1939 with the Altmark and um, the Middle Atlantic BE-39. We have uh, U-460 at the Azores CE-88 in uh, August and September 1942 and so on and so forth. Yeah, then we have the chart with the signage for the... Um, the Schleusen, the, the um, harbor locks, you have here closed more than four minutes, closed less than four, but more than two. Then we have closed for less than two minutes, with be opened 30 seconds, open more than a minute, open less than a minute, will be closed less than 30 seconds. That's for Kiel Holtenau and Brunsbüttel. Then we have the light signals. For Kiel Holtenau, Brunsbüttel, Sanasea and Bergen, closed and open. And we have the light signal for Wilhelmshaven, closed, open, yeah, self-explanatory. Self then we have a wind sheet. Uh, basically, it's uh, the Beaufort scale from 0 to 7. We have all the available uh, uh, orders and decorations and ranks. And we have the technical chart again. Yeah. But as I said before, the most important is this one here with the availability dates from all the uh, U-boat tenders and uh, milk cows. So yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, crap. Holy shit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. What the hell? Eh? Let's get one. Uh, let's get the. Let's get that stuff out of the way. Holy crap, eh? That was close. 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ruder 0 Grad. Puh. Yeah, normally, uh, uh, normally a deck watch would have reported that, but this is not coded into the game, I guess. So yeah, well, we have to live with that, I assume. That's a little bit annoying here that the, the slide out every time comes out. I, I go as close. Look at this. It comes out when I'm not even near that thing. Uh, it's a little bit annoying when you want to, to, to place the, the repair crew into the... into the... Uh, into the crew slots, but, uh, well, it is what it is. Okay, now let's go to course. We need the navigator again. We have a navigator. Go back to course. Gehen wieder auf Kurs, Herr Kaloin. Wait a minute. The crew picture is not the same as as the uh, pictures down here. That's interesting. Anyway, it's not really that important, I guess. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, so far it's uh, a really nice uh, uh, mod. Yeah, you can see here also more this uh, black and white picture uh, feeling, which gives uh, the whole thing a nice touch. Yeah, I like that slide out uh, instruments here. It doesn't make the, the whole uh, screen so cluttered anymore. This is all also completely changed here. We get to set up these things here. Uh, sadly, the the uh, instruments are not available here on the screen anymore. But anyway, that's not really a thing here. So yeah, let's go to AM26 and let's see if we have uh, if we have uh, some luck at uh, sinking some shipping. They also tilted the, the depth meter a little bit to the left. That's a nice touch. Yeah, so far I really like that. I mean, that's not bad. Holy crap, that's really, really well done. Okay, and uh, as I said before, the download link for the Living Silent Hunter mod uh, LSH 2022 is in the video description. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, what do we have here? Medium distance. There he is, that bugger. There. Another U-boat coming home from the patrol. That's a nice one. But we need to be careful with the mines here. I don't want to run into another mine, but I guess these were mines either dropped from the enemy or um, they ripped off their cables and uh, uh, broke loose. Yep, there is the artillery barge doing its patrol. Okay, let's go. Hey yeah, guys, we are just passing the light ship. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I mean the graphics, holy crap. Of course, uh, in World War II, there were no light ships available and uh, 
the whole coastline, the, the light towers, uh, uh, like here, they were all shut down for the duration. So to give not the enemy any possibility to uh, navigate under peacetime conditions, except uh, in the early stages of Operation Cattle Drum, as Hardaken said, he could navigate uh, the East Coast right down to Cape Hatteras under peacetime conditions, uh, because the whole coastline was so lit up, and uh, yeah, but... Uh, here in uh, in Europe, the lights went dark in December 3rd, 1939. So, okay, let's continue. I'll be back with you when we have something to shoot at. Ah, aircraft, how did I miss them? Our tiny little friends from the RAF Coastal Command. Ugh. I mean, thank God the Type 7 is such a quick diver because otherwise... Oh, he is dropping good, but uh, it was... Uh, Thankfully, not deep enough set. Holy crap! <laughs> yep. I mean, that's a little bit overdone here with the shaking of the boat because it's not even near close enough to do that. But uh, for dramatic purposes, you know. <laughs> Michael Bay style. <laughs> uh, I think Pat will kill me if I mention uh, Michael Bay one more goddamn time. <laughs> yeah, but look at the graphics. Holy crap, that's so good looking here. <laughs> yeah, we have... Uh, we have had our submarine uh, surprise aircraft attack. We're not really, uh, not not even in the in the real deep waters of the uh, Biscay, and we need to get the hell out of here. But uh, as we are completely covered by aircraft, I assume already that won't be the last attack. So yeah, let's stay submerged for about four hours and then we'll continue on our way. Yeah, let's see if the skies are clear. Yep. Nobody up there. Let's get the hell out of here. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5.
Yeah, okay, we are good to go, so let's go up there. <coughs> yeah, we have received a radio message. Uh, milk cow U463 has arrived in AK-59 Central North Atlantic available from October 1st to November 11th it's right there it's a nice uh, uh, touch uh, not only popping up on the map you get the radio message that's a really nice one here now we have uh, 460 down here at the Capernian Islands, the Gelting at the Canarian Islands. We have uh, 461 right here, 463 up there. We have the Odin still in Greenland. And we have the Tezios right there. That's good to know. To Max Albrecht still in El Ferrol. Uh, right here. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, another radio message. The new Type 9C slash 40 boats are available. Which means if we would now, uh, after this patrol, consider to get a new boat, we have to go to the Erprobungsstelle here in Danzig. Then we make a patrol of 24 hours in the Baltic Sea. Basically the, the trial of the boat and then we go back to Danzig and then we uh, can request a transfer back to a, a, a flotilla again. So yeah, let's go. Man, 9C40, yes, and, uh, uh, well, maybe. We have received a message from a convoy, it's right there, holy crap. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. I need to, I need to stop that, I need to get rid of that stuff here. Holy crap. So close indicates that might be, could be another boat. He is going south. Okay, let me see. Large enemy convoy, BE 38 course south, speed estimated 5 knots. Okay. Five knots. Five knots in four hours. That's 37 kilometers. And let's see. 37 kilometers. Uh, make it 40. Should be there in time. Oh crap, yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it in Buku time, eh? Five knots, two hours, 18 kilometers. Make it 20. Yeah, we'll be there. One and a half hours. Which means gives us 30 minutes to get into position. Okay, let's go. Yeah, weather is a little bit choppy. But we have seen worse. Okay, let's uh, preset a few things. 
2,000 meter distance, 5 knots speed, okay, we good. Yep, let's see, we have the torpedo set 1 and 3, 0 0.5 degrees spread, perfect, we just need the draft and then we are good to go. Okay, let's go there. For visual, I can see them. There they are. That's a big boy here. That's a trip transport. We have a freighter. There we have a patrol boat. Another freighter. A corvette. Okay, sta um, contact report is sent. There they are. Oh, uh, old rust bucket. Oh yeah, look at that, that in the back. Hey, that's a big boy. It looks like Empress of India class or something like that. Holy, oh yeah, uh-huh. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Ah, ah. Now look at that. Ferry Fulmar Mark 1's on deck, uh-huh. Oh yeah, there she is, look at that. Oh yeah, that's a big boy here. We, uh, we try for this one here, that's for sure. Oops. There they are. 60 degrees. But it's not really a large... Uh, not really a large... Not really a large convoy, it's uh, for that time frame that should be at least already 30 ships or something like that, but uh, I think the engine can't handle that. Yeah, we need to see. I mean, if we could sink that troop transport, that would be uh, uh, nice. Nice opening for the for the patrol. To be honest, look at that thing here! Holy crap, that's a really big one. Oh yeah, that's what the hell is going on here? Uh, okay, that's a flower class. Ugh. There they are. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Neuer Kurs Let's identify that guy. I want to see what it is. I 
I mean, they should work at a little bit. Uh, uh, that that shit is not every time popping out. I, I look at that. My mouse, my mouse cursor is here, and it already pops out. Uh, you need to do something with that. See, that's not. Uh, Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. We have two smokestacks. No, no. Uh, no. That's that's her. Yep, definitely. That's the that's the thing here, ocean liner. 20,956 gross register tons. Well, that's nice. We need to get there a little bit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kurs 279. And you don't need to say Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, every goddamn time I want to look to the Uzo. Hey, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, there's. Oh, oh, oh. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. There's a Corvette. There's another one. There's a patrol boat. There's another one. Oh, shit. Huh. I need to be careful here. Eh? Yep, that's a, that's a nice one. Yep, we need to get closer, guys, that's for sure. Okay, guys, here they come. No, oh, that would be so nice if that would work. There she is. And here we are, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. <coughs> but we need to get a little bit closer. <coughs> Sorry. We need to get a little bit closer. Okay, let's see. We have a draft of uh, 
12.6 meters. That means we go for 10 meters. Impact pistol, one and three. Man, she would have been better off traveling alone with a max speed of 31 knots. That's for sure. Now well, let's see. Let's get up. Yep, there she comes. Just need to be careful. Okay, let's see. Now we go for the fast one here. Let's go. Where is she? Oh shit. There she is. Bow to the left. What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Okay, solution is running. Shoot one and three. There they go. Well, looking good so far.
Oh yeah, looking good. Oh man, I'm totally sweating right now. <laughs> that would be a nice patrol start. If the torpedoes work, that is. <laughs> uh, we have had our experience with that one, haven't we? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, my goodness, that looks good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good one, right in the engine compartment. Oh, yes! Jawohl, Herr Karol! Neue Tiefe! Eins, vier, zwei, Meter! I don't think she's going anywhere. Holy crap, he's smoking and burning. Oh, yeah. Oh, tilting. Is that the flower class? Yeah, looks like that he is searching in the wrong direction. Now that's a good one. Because we're going back to periscope depth. And go for the freighter. Oh, yeah, she is going down, that's for sure. Yeah, she is losing any speed, just uh, uh, the momentum which keeps her going forward. But she is going down, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, look at these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no screws anymore. Engine compartment flooding, boiler room flooding, I would assume. Yep, uh, she's done. Yep. She's done for. <sighs> now that's a nice start for that patrol, huh? <laughs> Holy. Now let's see, maybe we can hit another one. Yep, there she is, sinking. Where is the aircraft freighter? There he is. Standard freighter, 6,300, draft 7.8. That's uh, six, seven, eight and a half. Bow to the left, 90 degrees. 3,000 meters, 5 knots. Solution is running. Shoot 2 and 4. Uh, 
Ah, oh, there they go. <laughs> Holy baloney. And now let's get to a depth. Yep, looking good. Looking very, very good. Do we have the... Yeah, we have all the hatches closed. Now let's see if that... Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks very good. Let's hope that the guy here has a lower draft than the big boy. Anyway. Anyway, we have already done something good. Uh, if 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 the torpedoes hit him, well, it's a ship. We'll take it. <sighs> Holy shit! Holy crappy! What did have what did he have loaded he? Uh, looks like fuel or something volatile. Oh that's a that oh yeah 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 oh my god. If we could sink three ships in one hit, oh my that would be Donk <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well anyways we have had already quite a success I mean look at her she's done it's just a matter of time she's not moving anymore she's done we just need to get rid of the escorts and maybe we'll give her the stern torpedo tube and then we have this guy oh, look at that he's already wow that was fast holy sh wow Ah, well, catastrophic explosion. Where is that guy? There he is. He's not pinging. This means he has no clue where we are and we are in his baffles. He cannot hear us. Nice. Nice. Now let's have a quick look. Okay, that's uh, 1,779 tons as a beginning. <coughs> and then we have this guy here, and we have just... Yep, just to wait here. I mean... Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, well, we shot four torpedoes and uh, have three hits. I mean, that's not bad. 75% success. Not bad. Just need to wait for her sinking. Yeah, she is, she is taking on heavy water. Definitely, yeah. Yep, that's, that's her last travel, that's for sure. Uh, 
don't think he knows where we are. Otherwise, he would already have started using his astic. No. So I guess that was the convoy southbound. So I guess it was uh, uh, going to the Mediterranean. Look at that sausages. Okay, we can switch off the TDC now. Now let's see here. Yeah, yeah, she is done. It's just a matter of time. Just give me, give me proper reports. Yep, that's that guy over there. Yeah, we might need to give her the stern torpedo tube. Usually, normally two torpedoes should be enough to, to do her in. I mean, her uh, her uh, bulkheads are not made for, for that amount of water. And yeah, that's the guy there in the background. What's what's this one here? Kriegsschiff auf zwei neun zwei kommt näher. Derzeitige Tiefe sieben null. Ja, let's see. Kriegsschiff auf zwei neun zwei kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 293 kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 293 kommt näher. 
Kriegsschiff auf 293. Kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 294. Kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 294. Kommt näher. Ja, yeah, he's still searching on the on the wrong place. Man, that's a pretty well protected convoy for that size. Tiefe 8-0. Okay, we're down to 80 meters. Yeah, that's that guy here. Kriegsschiff auf 103, kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 104, kommt näher. No, oh, that's this guy here. Kriegsschiff auf 106, kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 107, kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 108, kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf 109, kommt näher. Ja, yeah, she might need another one. Okay, the convoy is moving on. This guy here is still searching at the wrong direction. And she is still not sunk, so we will creep now on the other side of the ship and then we'll give her the stern torpedo. Yeah, the escorts are gone and uh, we have crept slowly into position. There is he go. He is going back to the convoy. Now we sent her the stern torpedo. Okay, let's do it. Shoot five. There he goes. There he is. Ah, should be working.
Huh? Oh, come on. He's running to DP. Yeah, fuck it. He. Uh, I hate it. Uh, anyway, we need to. We need to reload. Yeah. yeah, and now we have the first problem because of these slide out instruments. I cannot get my people out of the hack torpedo uh, room again. Uh, Jesus Christy. Am I that fucking annoying? Eh? Don't you test that shit before you release it? Like seriously, what the fuck? My god. Not a piss off me. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely nice. Yep, I cannot get them out. We need okay, we need to we can we can get the uh, um out when we get rid of the complete overlay. That's not bad, but slightly inconvenient to be honest. Uh, okay, now let's see. We need to get the torpedoes reloaded. Okay, the stern tube is reloaded. Oopsie. Okay, let's see. We have had a 180. That thing has a draft of 12.6 meters. We had set 10. It ran too deep. So we set 7 meters impact pistol. Periscope depth. There she is. Still not sunk. Okay, we have uh, 180. Yeah, a little bit. Bow to the right, 90 degrees, zero speed. Why can I not? Oh no, uh, the, okay. So let's see. Yep, that should be good. Zero speed, Ta -da. seven meters impact. Shoot five. There he goes. Well, let's see if that works. There is the ship. Oh, my, my. There's Mr. Torpedo. Should work, should be working. 
Now let's hope he runs not too deep and the uh, the impact pistol works. Oh my oh my. Aha, that's a good one. No, please. Don't, don't nice. There up. <laughs> now let's see if that's enough to do here in. Oh. Holy crap, that's almost a second job here ah should be enough usually my three torpedoes that should be really enough let's go to 60 meters just in case That should be enough. She's eaten three torpedoes, that should be enough. Two on the port, one on the starboard side. That should do her in. Yeah, uh, let's see. Four minutes, okay. We need to, and sometimes we need to r load the externals into the boat. But we do that on a later time. So come on now, sink. That's a nice hole. The, yeah, one of the escorts came back. Ah, oh, shit. Eh, seriously, eh, that's a piece of work here. Eh? Holy crap. Yeah, okay, the escort is gone again, so we are creeping into position again. There she is, still not moving, still not sinking. It's, uh, uh, uh well, what do you want to do? We need the torpedo guy here. <laughs> B 
about to the right 90 degrees zero speed running depth mm, nine meters impact Yeah, we also received a uh, a, a radio message from the BDU. We should uh, hold the contact and send hourly reports. And every submarine in the vicinity shall operate on that uh, convoy. Which means we need to get the hell uh, rid of that uh, ship now and... Uh, then we'll have to hunt the convoy. Okay, we are in position and uh, yeah, let's shoot one. Impact pistol, nine meter draft. Slow speed, no, medium speed. Bow to the right, zero speed. Set solution is running. Shoot one. And there he goes. Now, hopefully, that do her in, man. That's uh, four torpedoes for. Uh, for that ship now and uh yeah nah, and after that we need to go after the convoy we need to re-establish contact and send a radio message hourly so the other submarines from the wolf pack can come in okay now let's see Uh, at least it runs straight. Uh, please, come on. Eh? Work and then sink and then we'll get the hell out of here. Uh, weather is getting a little bit choppy. Now, come on. Do her in. <sighs> okay, now, I mean, four torpedoes should be enough. Seriously. We need to get the hell out of here. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs 
Oh, okay. Now they're coming. Fire. Not a fire. So she should be go down now. Hopefully. I don't want to waste another torpedo on her. Okay. Uh, now we're speaking. Oh my, my, that takes time, huh? Yeah, she's burning from from bow to stern now. And I hope she's sinking soon because uh, we need to get and reestablish uh, contact with the Conway. Okay, it's still not sinking. It's just unbelievable. It's getting absolutely ridiculous now. Four torpedoes and it's not sinking. I mean, what the fuck? Seriously. Look at that shit here. You gotta be kidding me, eh? Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne um 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Ah. That's freaking unbelievable. And why the hell? Ah, come on, eh? You know, fuck it. Uh, seriously, I'm done with this shit here. I can't even use the deck gun because the sea is a little bit choppy. Because I wasted about uh, four hours for this bucket there. Uh... Schiff gesichtet. Schiff gesichtet. Lage 299. Große Entfernung. Four torpedoes and still not sinking. Eh? Won't waste another torpedo for this here. I'm so done with that crap. Okay, we need to plot the course south. We need to re establish contact with that convoy. And let's be done with it.
Yeah, let's be done with it and uh, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, I'll give him one more torpedo and then we'll be done with it because uh, it's now 20 past 7. We had the the convoy report almost 9 hours ago, so I'm pretty sure I cannot reestablish a contact. So, yeah. And seriously, guys, get rid of that goddamn Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, every time I want to look to the bloody Uso. Okay, let's see. Bow to the right. Forty-five, yeah, forty-five degrees. Zero speed. Impact pistol. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Shoot to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight torpedoes fired. One on the other freighter, one dot. That means that's our sixth torpedo now for this ship. You gotta be bloody kidding me, eh? Cannot mount the deck on here. Uh, look at that. Heavy seas. What the fuck? Yeah, well, it's straight running. No, look at that. Now we got her. Holy crap. Hey. Jesus Christ. Oh, now she's going down. Unbelievable. There she goes. And now we need to get on course south.
And she's gone. But look at that, hey, Jesus Christ, they were almost out of torpedoes. Hey. For one 20,000 ton ship, it's unbelievable. So we had fire two for the other freighters and one dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we fired six torpedoes on that thing. Jesus Christy. What a waste. Okay, now we have to uh, re-establish contact with the convoy, but uh, that will be the uh, topic of our next episode. <coughs> I end the episode here, and I hope to see you all again in our next episode of War on the Sea. Until then, have a nice day, stay safe out there, bye-bye.